Hello, Chris Worden. Uh, today I want to talk to you about Phoenix companies. So you, you may have heard the term a Phoenix company and it, it's like an informal term for a new company that has been formed to continue the business of an insolvent company. Uh, you may you may have heard this referred to as th things like a, a pre-pat liquidation or a Phoenix liquidation. So it, it's called a Phoenix company because the, the company has sort of been reborn from the ashes of the predecessor. Now, providing that the, the Phoenix company has, has purchased the old company's assets for, for, for the market value, then it can carry on where the old company left off. Now, the, the new company will often have the same directors. It might have the, the, the same services. Um, it will probably it might even trade from the same premises. Um, and as long as like strict regulations are, are actually met, it might even have the same trading name. So a, a Phoenix company will, will be set up to be free of the legacy unsecured debt of the old company. So you create a Phoenix company through something called a pre-pack liquidation or a pre-pack administration or it might even be called a phoenix liquidation in certain 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 places so the advantages of a, of a phoenix company is you, you're able to continue trading without the issues of the historical debts so you might even be able to continue trading uh, with the same type of suppliers the, the same type of customers um and, and again, as long as your landlord's happy if you rent the premises, you, you don't necessarily uh, need to find somewhere new to work from. So another good, another good advantage of a, of a, a Phoenix company is, is it protects the jobs of your employees. Because if the old company is going to be closed, it has no future, by restructuring that company into, into a, a Phoenix company, that protects the jobs of the employees of the old company. Because you can take the employees of the old company and bring them over to the new company. Now, in certain circumstances, the, the, the old company, um, sorry, the new company will be able to trade using the old company's name. But there are some strict regulations around that. And, and it'd be, if you're thinking about this, it's worth having a conversation about your situation. So also when you create a, a, a Phoenix company uh, and if the old company has some assets that you need to buy back, then that's actually also going to create a better return for the creditors of the old company. So uh, I hope that's, um, uh, I've made things clear about what a Phoenix company is. If there's anything that I've said today that, that, that you would like more information on, please let me know, drop it in the comments below or send me a message. Thank you very much for your time and I look forward to speaking with you. My name is Chris Worden.